Hi, and I'm Dave. The only thing this boat is missing is, you can tell, it's a teller. Nice mahogany teller, it's beautiful, waiting to be put back on for a ceremony of taking off back into the deep blue sea. Right now it's parked out here on some church land, tribal land, just waiting to be floated aboard and fixed up a little bit. Uh, we have our windows and windshields, and uh, here we have the, what's this called, Steve? You can cut that part out. What's this called? Yeah. What's this called? This is galley. The, the, the galley and the settee and the galley. and the V-berth. Here we have the galley. A lot of space, place for a head, kitchen, V-berth, sleeping areas, crew quarters. You can see this thing is a tank. It's made out of mahogany. Oh, good fur boards, and it is bulletproof. You can see it's been sitting here for a week. It's still floating, and it runs. Yes, I did say that. It does run. Cruises down around six knots. It's kind of fun. You could probably pull a homestead off of a Texas farmyard if you can get a rope long enough. But yes, <laughs> the floor is beautiful. Like I said, the only thing it needs is its steering wheel put back on it. But to do that, we're going to piece it back together a little bit, a little TLC, and this big cabin boat is going to be back on the water. It's an amazing craft. It has a huge history. It was used by the Sea Scouts, used by a couple divers. It has utility up the sound. And this boat could be used for pretty much any project you want, including a party barge, which, you know, is pretty much what you do every time I get in the water. <laughs> boards that need to be put up. We have a windshield for it. Uh, we have a door for it. A couple little things need to be patched back together. Some interior needs to go up a little bit. I don't, know, I don't think it even needs electronics. Yeah. A good sailor doesn't need a compass. They just might need direction. Here we have... What kind of motor is this? This is a, gotta edit this stuff out. This is a Detroit diesel. But what what is it a six thirty or I think it's probably a six V seventy one. Or an eight V seventy one. It's big enough. Uh, I, I haven't looked closely enough on it. I think it's a six V seventy one. And here we have a diesel motor that runs off road, very dependable, very well maintained by the Sea Scouts. And yes, I did say that. It runs. And there's a lot of room to work on it. I mean, you can have a party down there in the engine compartment on either side. There's four foot by almost six and a half foot ceilings in the engine compartment and all the way back around it, access to uh, where the drive is and room to put other things in. Uh, room for a genset, room for a water maker, room for whatever you want in here. It's, it's got the room. Oh, we're just walking up the bow. I found artifacts. It's seaworthy. It's intact. It just needs the TLC around the edges. And there is staring through the 2B reinstalled windshield area with the roof over the cab, over the pilot house, and the back decks.